So in this video, we're going to install the custom firmware on the PSP 1000. Recently, I managed to refurbish this PSP 1000. If you have not watched the video, please click the link on the top right. In today's video, we will install the custom firmware on this PSP. There are many reasons on why you should install the custom firmware. Number one is to run emulator homebrew games, play backups your games, and it saves battery. The first thing we need to do is to check the firmware of your current PSP. Your PSP needs to be a 6.60 firmware. You will need a Sony Pro Duo memory stick with at least 2GB of memory. Alternatively, you could get this SD card adapter. Here I have a 32GB SD card which is enough to fit at least 15 games inside. I will leave a link in the description if you want to get one of these adapters for yourself. Alright, let's go. First, put your memory stick into your PSP. We are going to format your memory stick. Head over to settings. Scroll till you see format memory stick. Press yes. This will delete everything in your micro SD card and will allow your SD card to be used with your PSP. I'm using a USB card to the dongle where the SD card will be placed into the dongle and the dongle will be plugged into the PC. Now let's head over to the PC. Browse your memory card onto your PC. There should be some folders over here. Select everything and press delete. Click the first link in the description to download the PSP Pro C Hack Mod Pack. This pack will have everything you need to mod hack your PSP. Download the file and unpack the PSP Pro C Hack Mod Pack. Here I'm using WinRAR to unzip the package, but you can also use 7zip. Unzip and place it on the desktop. Remember to delete the zip file. Inside the pack, there is a little readme file with some of the links for the firmware and a step-by-step -step guide on how to run the custom firmware. There are other custom firmware like the 6.61 Infinity but I prefer the 6.60 Pro C. It is stable, easy to install and it takes less than 10 minutes to complete the process. Also in the pack is the step 1 folder containing PSP and ISO folder. Copy the content of step 1 and paste it on the root of your PSP memory. In your PSP folder, there will be a game folder and inside it, there will be 4 more folders See IPL Flasher, Fast Recovery, Pro Updates and Update This will be the files needed to install custom firmware onto your PSP In your ISO folder, this is where you will place your backup PSP games For your PSP games to be recognized, it has to be of .ISO or CSO format Here I have two ISO files, the Need for Speed and the God of War which I have backup from the UMD drive onto my PC Alternatively, you can always download the ISO file from the internet Just do a simple Google search for PSP ROMs ISO There will be a few websites where you can actually get your ROMs from Download the ISO ROMs and place it into your ISO folder Copying the file onto the SD card will take some time depending on the size of the ROMs Let's move back to the PSP Alright, let's go. First, put your memory stick into your PSP. Just to be safe, make sure you are powered using the AC cable. We will install the custom firmware onto your PSP. This is easy to do and you can always reinstall whenever you want. If you are not on the 6.60 firmware, make sure you update your firmware first. Head over to the Pro Update option. A menu will appear, press X to launch the custom firmware installation. It should only take a few seconds. Now press X again and reboot the unit and we are done. Let's check if the update was successful. Go to system settings, go to system information, your system firmware should be 6.60 Pro C. Go to memory card, you should see the two games appearing. Let's play some God of War. Loading time should be much faster than the UMD. custom firmware is not permanent. If the battery dies or your system reboot itself, you will need to run the recovery update to go back to custom firmware. Here I will restart my PSP and show you how to run the recovery update. This will only take a few seconds. Turn on your PSP as per normal. If you check the memory card, your two games will not appear as your PSP is no longer on custom firmware. Instead of going through the update, this time around, we will click the 6.60 Fast Recovery. Let it do its thing and it should be back on custom firmware. Press on memory stick and your game should appear. The PSP is one of my favorite if not my absolute favorite handheld console. 
the custom firmware is able to run homebrew applications such as NES, SNES, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Gear and PlayStation which I will cover in the future video. The PSP is more than 10 years but I still play it on a regular basis. If you enjoyed the video, do consider subscribing to the channel and leave a thumbs up. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. If you have any question, do let me know in the comment and I will see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe everybody.